how can we make use of these two bits of language? The one that wasn't quite right and the one that was really good. How can they be used also to the benefit of all of the students in the classroom? This is what emergent language is all about. Hi, I'm Hedwig from Gallery Teachers. Welcome to our channel. If you are an English teacher or considering becoming one, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for our weekly TEFL teaching tips. I'd like you to imagine a very common scenario in a language classroom. And when you've done that, I have a question for you. In one of your lessons, one of your students, they're chatting to their classmates, says something really meaningful but the language they use isn't quite right. Another learner, following on from what was said, then comes out with a bit of language which is absolutely fantastic. How can we make use of these two bits of language? The one that wasn't quite right and the one that was really good. How can they be used also to the benefit of all of the students in the classroom. This is what emergent language is all about. You can use both the not so good bit of language as an opportunity for reformulation. You can also share the really good bit of language that the other learner used as a way of highlighting to the other learners a nice bit of language that they might also want to use themselves. And this is at the heart of what emergent language is all about. Emergent language starts not with the teacher setting a language point, but it starts with the learner's own spontaneous use of language to create meaning. Now we all know that when learners create meaning, talking to one another, interacting with one another, a couple of things can happen. They can get the message across, but not quite naturally. Or they can amaze everyone with something that's absolutely fantastic. Both are useful in emergent language. And this is why emergent language for me is such an exciting opportunity to enable learners to make the most of what they've got and to upscale what they've got so that next time they want to share this piece of information with a different person, they can do so more naturally, more accurately, and therefore to enable better communication. So this moves us away from target language teaching, where the course book or the teacher has a particular grammar point and the teacher's focus is on to what extent do the students get to the point that they can use it or not. It's a bit of a kind of a deficit model. You didn't quite get it right. To a much more holistic way of working, where Anything that the student says in a meaning-focused interaction becomes a great opportunity for sharing and enabling our learners. And this is something that the learners get really invested in because they realise that you as the teacher are listening not to their grammar, but to them. And you're interested in helping them. So it's great for engagement and it's great for motivation as well. So this masterclass is really about seizing these opportunities in the classroom. The things that don't go quite so well in spontaneous use and the things that went really, really well and you want the students, all the students to be aware of and also giving you the practicalities to enable this to happen. How do you feel about this? Have you got anything that you'd like to add or share? Do you agree or do you disagree 
with this idea of emergent language use. What do you do in your classroom? Please let us know in the comments below.